So the question is, why do so many people doubt that ADHD is a real disorder? I think it boils down to this, that all of the things that we call symptoms of ADHD, things that relate to being inattentive, things that relate to being very active, things that relate to being impulsive, happen to all kids as part of normal development to some extent or another. And in fact, they happen to all adults uh, to some extent or another. But the thing to remember is that for kids who end up with a diagnosis of ADHD, these things happen about three times more intensely, three times more frequently, and with much, much more impairment. So you as a child may have forgotten your homework at school once, or you may have done a homework and forgot to bring it in. But kids who end up with a diagnosis of ADHD tend to do this so much so that it's a problem in and of itself. The same thing with being inattentive. Certainly we've been to lectures or meetings uh, where we've been spaced out for a minute or two. But imagine being inattentive enough that you miss key material and can't keep up with work, or it interferes with social relationships because you're really not paying attention enough to what the other person is saying. Or imagine being so impulsive that you fall off of a, of a teeter-totter at the playground. But kids with ADHD actually end up going to emergency rooms significantly more often than non-ADHD peers. So I think it boils down to the fact that these symptoms that end up being ADHD, if there's enough of them, and if they happen often enough, and if they are actually impairing, also happen to happen to typically developing kids, although at a lower level. And I think that's why it can be confusing.